but it's just, for me it's like, this is the end of, of growing up with a single parent, so this is like my response to him for me growing up as a single parent, you know what I'm saying? Okay, yes, my mother was my icon. There is no amount of words that could express the gratitude I have for her. But my father, that's where it stops. Let me tell you about a boy with five brothers and he called the oldest one Pops. You see, my father, when I was in the first, was in the fifth grade. And I didn't know any better, you see, he was the one who sheltered me. He was the one who understood that this is not how things supposed to be. I can remember one time I could not go on a field trip because he signed my permission slip. You made me depend on my brother who was only three years older than me. He didn't have a chance to have nothing, just gave me hope to have something. He understood that five kids at 21, his siblings' chances of being successful were slim to none. So no touch football in the streets. No hanging out with the guys until the morning sunrise. I can remember days when I could see the frustration in his eyes, but my father. My father don't even know my birth date. He might know the month, damn sure not the date, I doubt it. He told me one time that my blood runs through you so you will never be shit. You'll never mount to an ounce. And your pedigree for success is street driven, not this poetry mess. The only thing worse than growing up in a single parent was the fact that I seen my father every day. And he used to always ask me, who's your dad? And me not knowing any better, I will always say you are. But look at me now, ask me now and listen to the different responses that come out of my mouth. You're not a father, you sure as hell is not mine. You see things change with time, I'm not your son. I'm not who you think I am. I'm not that seed that you dropped off for a nine month incubation and then your son again at graduation. No, no, that's where you wrong. You knew I couldn't do it alone. This is not how my life's supposed to be. Didn't you understand that that boy you left would eventually be a be a man? <laughs> Do you know how many nights I set up wondering why I had to have a childhood with no father? And ask God, did I do something wrong? Was the reason I stuttered why he left me alone? Or I soon realized that something else was taking up your time, and I swear this is no lie. When I would hit the streets, my father would already be there chasing that next high. I remember one time we passed right by each other. He didn't even recognize me. You see, his eyes was bloodshot. I knew he had been up all night looking for that crack rock. I wish you could have stopped for two seconds and looked behind you and realized that those women and those drugs was not going anywhere. I swear I needed you when you was not there. And the fucked up thing is I look just like that man. Yes, me, your youngest son who stuttered all the time, who didn't want to talk in public because he felt that when he left his speech impediment would be other people's subjects. You knew I needed you from day one. You was, but was I so wrong? Did you not realize that I would eventually be grown? Did you not know that I would have trials, play it off with smiles? No, because you wasn't there. If it wasn't shaped like a glass pipe or had a big ass, you didn't care. So day in and day out, anger grew and I did not know or want to let it out. You see, my heart was great at talking, but the problem was when I tried to do the same thing with my mouth, you knew I needed you from day one. I got a son. And I got that same funny feeling I know you did at the moment of conception. I'm talking about nine months before my life ever begun. Do you know how many times I had to kill roaches as soon as the lights came <coughs> on? Or how I had to eat my cereal with a fork because if I used a spoon, it was considered wrong and selfish. But that's normal shit. But not to a single parent with five kids, two jobs, no education, and one dumbass baby daddy. No father, just a family starter. And cracking water and poof, there it is. A lame ass dude that don't take care of his kids. So my father, the hardest thing I had to do is forgive you. But I forgive you and I wish you well. And if our relationship grows, only time will tell. But if you want to make it better, be a grandfather to my son. That's a bond we can share together. You see, he don't know about your shortcomings, your struggles, and the times you wasn't there. But treat him right and I swear we'll be all right. But if not, know that he will be fine. And I will never be out of his life, just like you was never in mine. Woo.